Hi, this is Jeremy Burgess from Urban Detroit Wholesalers, the Detroit market expert, and welcome to another episode of Detroit Investor TV. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Wayne County tax auction sale, uh, which is also going to be online this year at uh, bidforassets.com. And uh, the reason I'm going to cover this is I got so many questions, uh, so many questions about it, and, and there's some good things about buying at the auction and there's a lot of bad things that, that you should be aware of so uh, we should dedicate an entire episode to this so we're going to uh, first off what is a tax auction uh, well in the states there are in, in the US there are two kinds of states there's either tax deed states or tax lien states in the tax deed state the county actually auctions off the deed and in tax lien states they auction off a lien against the property at a set interest rate. Well, Michigan is a tax deed state. So that means uh, every year, if you're three years behind on your taxes and you don't catch up, they're gonna auction off the, the property in the tax deed state. There are some things I really don't like uh, about tax deed sales. Uh, first of all, when you buy the property, you are getting a quick claim deed which is the lowest form of control of real estate that there is. And the way that Wayne County does the foreclosure process is not 100% judicially correct, which means that any property you do buy, you're gonna have to do what's called quiet title. You're gonna have to hire a quiet title attorney who's gonna take somewhere anywhere from three months to a year, depending on how bad it is, and cost anywhere from you know, $1,000 to five or $6,000 to correctly foreclose on it through the process called quiet title and uh, get you, that way when you go to sell the property down the road, you have a marketable title. Because when you take the quick claim deed, uh, you don't have a marketable title. There's, there's nobody that will insure uh, a tax deed. Now, I'm, I bumped into a few title companies and they all say they'll do tax deeds. And I tried to do some, and so far my experience hasn't been all that great. I can't get anybody to market the title, so that that's why it's so important. If you if, when you buy these things, uh, you, you're gonna have to quiet title them, and you have to get an attorney for them. All right. Uh, number two, you're in an auction style process. Uh, the first year I did it, I uh, went and looked at I don't know, a couple, 200, 300 properties, narrowed it down to 40, and uh, I ended up walking away with two. And for about a month's worth of work to walk away with two properties uh, with a lot of expenses just really wasn't worth it uh, for me. Um, also, when, you, when, you, when you're bidding on the property, you, it starts at $500 and it goes up from there and you're bidding on the property. You got that auction style mentality, which I was referring to before where people just want to beat you, push the price up, which kind of sucks. Um, you got this auction style mentality. You got to pay whatever your winning bid is, plus that year's taxes. So remember that when you're doing that. So this year you'll have to pay 2010's taxes, plus whatever your winning amount is. Uh, all right. So let's assume you're. Let's assume you're going to buy, like whatever. I know there's some issues. I want to buy some properties at the Wayne County tax auction. Fine. If you are going to buy properties. You should do what I do if I decide to do something like that. First off, you need to go look at every property that you're interested in. And if you can't look at it, you need to hire somebody who can look at it. And what you need is you need pictures of the inside and the outside and a rehab estimate. And if you can't get inside the property because it's currently occupied, I won't buy it. I don't care how cheap the property is. All it requires is one foundation issue to completely blow whatever profit you thought you were gonna make or what great deal you had right out the window. So right off the bat, look at it. If you can't look at it, hire somebody to look at it. Get inside it. If you can't get inside it, don't bid on it. So now you know, okay, this is this is what the, the property, how much work it needs, I got inside it. I like the neighborhood, that's fine. Number two thing you need to do is you need to pull a title on all these properties. And why do we want to pull title? Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, Wayne County doesn't foreclose correctly, 100% judicially correctly, which means that every property will have to go through quiet title. Quiet title costs vary 
depending upon the previous interest in the property and basically how difficult it's going to be to quiet the title. So considering that quiet title could cost as little as $1,000 or as much as six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000, you should probably know that up front when, when you're buying the property, when you're working that out, because that's, that's obviously a fixed cost, just like a rehab. So you want to know that up front. Number three, call the water department. I have seen $28,000 water bills. I'm not kidding, I have seen it. Uh, when we did the 2007 tax auction, and I decided I wasn't gonna do it ever again. Uh, we, every property that we're interested in, we, we called the water department, which is a, a fun thing to do in and of itself. Uh, you know, dripping with sarcasm there. If you haven't called the water department, you haven't lived life yet, uh, call the water department on every one of the properties you're interested in and get a final water bill read. And maybe they can, maybe they can't, but get the best estimate you can on it because regardless of the foreclosure, Whoever owns the property is going to be paying the water bill. That is not wiped at foreclosure. You're not buying an REO. You're getting a quick claim deed from Wayne County. That water bill is going to be your problem. And last and finally, it's going to be online. You might get excited. You got a credit card. They'll take credit cards. All that lovely stuff. After you looked at every property, you pull a title report so you know what quiet title is going to cost you and you know what the water bill is, put it all down on a list and figure out what is your highest offer. Write it all down on a spreadsheet. Do not get caught up in the auction mentality. Uh, all right, now some people may, so just make sure you do that, all right? So okay, uh, this need, this says $7,000 water bill, you know, $5,000 in, in uh, uh, quiet title fees. It's a nice house, only needs 15,000 in rehab. All right, I can pay $10,000 for the property or $15,000, whatever it be, you know going into it uh, what that number is going to be. It, and finally, I'm not completely against this, but this is a pretty sophisticated way of buying property and a lot of people don't know much about it. If you're looking to, you know, to wholesale or to flip kind of like I do, it, it really doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, the process just takes too long. Quiet title can take six months to a year, to a year and a half, depending how bad you know the title, the title is, and how jacked up the title is. So it, it's a lot of work for not that much of a payday. However, if you're just looking for a couple of rentals, yeah, maybe it, maybe it's a fun experience. There's just a lot easier ways to do it and get a marketable title. Which to me, having a, a marketable title up front is everything versus doing all this work. But if you're gonna do it, now you know the right way to do it. And uh, don't skimp on these things, guys. Don't don't think, oh, I don't need to see the inside of the house. They must be a good area. It's so cheap, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, it matters. So if you're gonna do it, please do follow the list. I hope you found this helpful. If you do decide to do it, I wish you the best of luck, you know? And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'd love to uh, answer them for you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in to this uh, episode of Detroit Investor TV. Once again, I'm Jeremy Burgess, the Detroit market expert, and uh, I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.